I'm covering second, so Slag not a chance to double up Rodriguez there, who had a big lead from the bag. So it's up to Ramirez, who crushes this one to center field. That's gone! First pitch swinging, Ramirez sends it over the wall in center. A two-run homer, and the Panthers will take a 2-0 lead. Just smacks all of this one all the way to center field. First pitch, knew it was going to be a good one from Dunning, who likes to establish herself ahead in the count. And they will score it a two-out single for Ball. Third hit for the Panthers today. This one sent high in the air, deep to left. Back of the wall is LaViolette. She'll watch it go. Another first pitch swinging two-run homer. This one from Kylie Griggs. And the Panthers all over Abby Dunning. It's 4 nothing pit. <laughs> Stefanoni delivers. On a hop, Hernandez has it, the throw in time, and that will do it. A complete game shutout for Olivia Stefanoni. And the Panthers have their second win in ACC play. They hand Boston College just their second home loss of the year. A 4-0 victory behind a pair of two-run homers from Amanda Tuta Ramirez and Kylie Griggs second in the third pitcher, and right now with Papiona is solid number two, and even Addison Jackson having a good year. Hard hit ball to center field, Chase on the chase, and that's gone! Nothing Callie Case can do but watch it as Cammie Compson, a leadoff home run in the top of the second for Pittsburgh. Well, the Panthers certainly packed the power bats on their trip to New England. That's a hard hit ball to left field. LaViolette looks at it, it's over the wall! Jordan George with the solo blast, her second home run of the season. And Pittsburgh get the hat ready. Fourth time today, the big hat has come out. 2-0 Panthers. Well, it's the big hat for the big bat. The Panthers playing home run derby. And then fortunate she doesn't make contact. Late break from third from Laviolette. It hits off the body of Cat Rodriguez and Jackson's aboard. The Eagles have cut the deficit to one here in the bottom of the second inning. Let's take advantage of the error. Macy Hilt, the pinch hitter, first pitch swinging to dead center. Right to Griggs, tagged up from third and sliding in is Tannis Jackin. The pinch runner comes in to score as Macy Hilt gets the RBI. With the captains and the players and Anna Slyke launches this one to left field. That's going to hit off the wall. Turning at first and standing up at second with a leadoff double is Hannah Slyke. There's a hard hit ball to right to center field and making the catch is Griggs. So Jewel Shields, again, another hard hit ball, but right to the outfielder. Two down for the Eagles. The remains two runners on. Macy Hamilton finds that one straight up the middle. Hamilton to center. The throw from Case is cut off by Siegel. And sliding safely at home is Kylie Griggs. We are all tied at 3-3. There's three. a little stretch where it felt like Boston College was starting to put together some harder hit balls. That's lifted to left center. That's carrying. It's out of here! McKenna Siegel, a home run to put the Eagles on top, four to three. And for Siegel, it is her first home run as an Eagle. Hard hit ball to left field. Griggs, did she do it again? Griggs off the scoreboard! Second two-run home run today. And Kylie Griggs has given the Panthers a one-run lead in the top of the seventh. Grounder to second. Rodriguez steps back, flips it to Hernandez. And the Pitt Panthers have swept the doubleheader here against Boston College. A 4-0 victory in game one. And what a shot by Kylie Griggs to earn a 5-4 victory.
here in game two. Thompson, the first baseman, swings away and drills it high and deep. See you later. For the second straight day, Thompson goes yard. Kimmy Thompson has a plan at the plate against Abby Dunning, and there's no doubt she was sitting on that inside screwball. Park tonight here at Boston College. After a half hour rain delay, as McKenna Siegel lifts a high fly ball that gets caught up in that wind, it just keeps carrying and it's gone. Boy, that ball just got caught up and it kept going and Siegel with her second home run of the season and just like that, we're tied at two. Unfortunately, the only winner tonight Mother Nature, a stubborn nor'easter, just kept bringing the rain, and this game has been suspended in the bottom of the first inning, tied at two. Now, we have been told this game will pick up exactly where we left off at 12 noon tomorrow in the bottom of the first. Each team with a home run tied at two, so this game suspended tonight <laughs> back tomorrow at 12 noon.